Brian Gray's a, or tailback. Incorrect, he says. Screams in front of everybody. I, I, he goes, says incorrect. He looks at me in the eyes and goes, cut. So he cut me in front of 200 kids. What? When did you learn how to have confidence and belief in yourself? When, when I started, my first win in life basically was, there was a bully in my elementary school, Riverside Drive Elementary School, which I'm gonna be like three blocks from sure. later today to watch my kid play at Notre Dame High School football. So I'm uh, Patrick, his name is, uh, shout out the to Patrick. Bully? The bully? Or no, oh, Patrick's my kid <laughs> playing at Notre Dame. No, the bully was um, Richard Gaynor. Oh. So Richard Gaynor was three years older than me, and uh, he just beat everybody up all the time. He'd pick somebody to beat up. But he never really picked on me, but then one day he decided to. It was, it's so classic. I was at the jungle gym. Mm -hmm. It was our little jungle gym <laughs> that had a padding under the jungle gym, and he threw me down, and I somehow like came alive and got him in a headlock and got on top of him and started Beating the shit out no of him. No way. Yeah, and it changed my whole life because I didn't know I, I could. I was a good wrestler, you know. I there's a few things that I was just inherently good at, but I didn't think of them as superpowers at all. You know, I didn't. Um, whereas, like, I think my skill and curi you know, that I am curious, and I'm, and I think it is a superpower. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I think I've honed it to become a superpower and that gives me a competitive advantage over others. But, but going back to Richard Gaynor and beating him up, I, I, all of a sudden I'm on top of him and I'm realizing, wow, this is amazing. I'm beating up the bully. And you I had just, this realization. Yeah, like, I was just like totally kicking it. this guy's I'm, ass. Yeah. And, all, and well, also there was a, ki a chorus of kids around me going, yay, you know, like just little kids. <laughs> cheering section. Cheering section, they'd all been beaten up or bullied by him <laughs> or certainly intimidated by Richard Gaynor. Right. And uh, actually Richard Gaynor kind of was mean to my sister, Nora, in fact, once. Um, but he, he didn't hit her, but he was like really disrespectful. And nonetheless, and anyway, I beat him up. And then I became like Robin Hood in the school. Really? Like he was scared of me. There was no more bullies. Um, you were the hero. I was the kind of the hero of the elementary school. Like, no, there was, it was like, you know, I'm the law of the land now. Kind of. <laughs> You're the mayor. I didn't right? say that, sure. but it was kind of like I was the. You I was going to chest a little more. You had. You I just taller. felt like I wanted something, and people were like res extremely respectful. Like, hey, man, how are you? You know, <laughs> like, like the little eight-year-old. Yeah. 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 What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that, that was good. That was the start of your self. That was the start of self-confidence, and then I had this very fa this fascinating moment when I went out, I went out for high school football at Chatsworth High School. Because I was also like Patrick, my young 16-year-old, I was a really tough kid. I mean, because I was able to win that fight. Right, like, they gave me a lot of confidence, and I learned to, I really learned to fight. I became a pretty good martial artist, actually, mm. in high school. And, uh, and so the, all my friends, I had a group of five or six guys, but they all, like you, popped well above six feet. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I went out for football. Now I do, I do the Hell Week, which I hate. Just hated Hell Week in the San Fernando Valley. Three days, three days, yeah. It was nice. five days. No, it was five days a week. No, but like three a day. Three, three oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes, because you play football. So yeah, yeah. but so it's miserable. So, yeah, hot. so it was terrible. It's really yeah. hot out in San Fernando Valley. I'm doing Hell Week. I get through it. Now we're all supposed to go to the auditorium. <clears throat> Everybody in Chatsworth High, all, all the uh, football players. So you had, <coughs> had freshmen, sophomore, juniors, seniors. The whole auditorium is filled with like 200 of these kids that got through Hell Week. And so Coach Ogawa is right there. And Coach Ogawa says, okay, name and status. I wasn't sure what he meant, but then there were people that preceded me. Perry Shellmeyer, wide receiver, Richard Cox, quarterback, um, Tony Cuvalier, wide receiver, Brian Grazer, or tailback, incorrect, he says, screams in front of everybody. I, I, he goes, says, incorrect. He looks at me in the eyes and goes, cut. So he cut me in front of 200 kids. What? So I thought, wow, that was really brutal. And it was super <laughs> embarrassing, like super, super, super embarrassing. 
And I, I really examined that moment. I brought it down to like, I was once a human being. Huh. And then it got to me, I was no longer a human being anymore. I was out of, you know, there's, I'm out of, out of the room. Team. Yeah. And so it actually gave me that, I was able to like isolate the micro moments of that and, and transported that feeling into what became the movie Friday Night Lights in the series. Because I could have made wow. the, those movies, the movie and TV show, about small town living, or I could have made it solely about football, but really it was focused on kids' identities and how mm. they get formed. Wow. So that was the primary focus. And when directors didn't want to do that, I would ding them out. I mean, nicely, I'd just go like, I don't think so, you know? But because um, a lot of guys just wanted to relive their high school career. But sure. when people were, so when Pete Berg came along, he was sensitive to the thing yeah. I was sensitive wow. to, like these imperceptible moments that become seismic to that one kid in forming their identity. And so that became the essence of, of what Friday Night Lights was, the movie and the TV show. And that's wow. why it exists. Yeah.